we've actually just come back from Antarctica. So we, we picked the coldest, driest, and probably the most remote place on Earth to test the toughness of this travel bag. This is Eric and Viv with the crew, and we're in Argentina with Chile just behind us. And we're introducing to you the Osprey Transporter Duffel Wheelie Bag. We traveled to some pretty harsh environments, high altitude stuff, remote parts from China to India and now Antarctica, literally all seven continents. So what we demand from our bags is pretty high. We're also throwing a lot of gear in there and gear that needs to be protected like camera gear. So I think we might've found a winner. We've reviewed a couple of duffel bags, ski bags. We've been struggling to find the perfect bag to take with us, basically like a gear hauler. We started with uh, years ago, the classic North Face we're never going to get it back the way it was. I mean, we won't go into the problems with those bags, but what we liked about this bag... And is the solution to the problems of the other bags. Yes. And what was cool for me right away was the finish on the bag. I'm not looking for a wheelie bag to be waterproof, but man, I want to be able to leave the airport into an environment like this and get rained on pretty good and not freak out. It's also got a lot of uh, water resistant features, like little over, over um, what do you call them? Like over flaps. Yeah, flat, they kind of, uh, you know, if you can imagine, if you're getting a downpour on this thing and the water's sheeting off of that, you know, you got your zip is, you know, not a waterproof zip, but you can be pretty confident. I, I love the feature, it's all over the place. Yeah, the it's bag. definitely not a, a dry bag, di diving bag or anything like that. Of course, our favorite, favorite feature, um, and maybe we're jumping ahead to our X Factor because we're so excited about it, is of course the fact that it wheels and will stand up on end. Literally this flat bottom here, this will sit right up. It's not like you gotta balance it like some bags. You literally wheel it right up, boom, set it straight up and it'll sit there even in some winds on the side of the ship. We had uh, very close quarters in our cabin and it stood up, you know, you've got tight, tight. Literally stood up in our cabin next to each other. There's always one pun in our videos, and Eric just burnt it. Wheelie bags are great. There's a lot of wheelie duffels, but you're always dragging it by this thing, which you gotta reach down for, and then it's whacking you in the back just, of the legs, it's right? It's terrible design. So just with a simple little bit of engineering, Osprey just gave you not much, but just enough extra hand handle extension so that you can wheel it comfortably. It, it really is a perfect hybrid between a, a wheelie suitcase and a duffel bag. With wheelie duffels, they're always getting trashed. They're getting burned. We were burning holes in the bottoms of them. Somebody thought about this and they put a nice hard surface down by the wheels so you're not dragging a hole in it. And you got some nice bumpers all the way around. So you've got some great other features. You've got lots of loopholes here, not as many as you would get on a North Face duffel bag, but you've got some real tough handles here. Inside is mostly just a giant cavernous space but there are two pockets on the inside of the lid. My only can problem is the orientation of the zips of those top inside pockets. I just wish it was flipped the other way. There are also inside the bag internal compression straps. It's uh, got some nice big grips for your zipper. It's got the uh, cinch downs here. They're great, except for when you do cinch them, they'll loop out and they tend to get caught a little bit. Somebody needs to figure that out for us. There's a cool feature at the top here hidden that you can attach to another bag that will hang off the front. And they've reinforced the material here. So it does get scraped up, but it seems to be holding up quite nice. We have literally dragged this thing to the end of the world, to Antarctica, across docks, into ships, into small cabins, onto planes. It has definitely held up. Thanks for watching. We've got tons of videos on our YouTube channel, so don't forget to subscribe. There's behind the scenes, there's the actual films that we make. We got some how-tos, some really wild experiences, some little like snackable pieces in, on our channel. But go take a look. I think there's something for everybody. It's ironic you say snackable pieces because our most popular video is how to cook a frog which was snackable and rather controversial super controversial <laughs> oh my butt hurts who chose this spot to film a bag review on a rock at the end of the world